My name is Dave Otero. I own and operate Flatline Audio here uh, just outside of Denver, Colorado, and I record the metals. I've kind of made my name in the extreme metal world uh, just, you know, I mean, sort of by happenstance, I guess. I've played in those types of bands myself. I kind of do get how it's supposed to sound, uh, and I think I have enough of my own spin on it that uh, is attractive to certain bands as far as like trying to approach it from a slightly more organic angle than, than maybe some of the other guys doing similar style stuff. I think having experience um, in this form of music from a performer side, from a musician side, definitely has added to what I'm able to bring on, on the flip side, on the studio side. Even as far as mechanics of drummers playing this style of music and, and limitations of a person's body who's trying to blast, you know, 280 BPM for 10 minutes. And I, I try and keep things in a realm where it's believable. Everyone knows that you can you can program jumps go as fast as you want. So that's not impressive anymore. Just the speed in itself isn't impressive, but if it sounds like a human that's pushing themselves to that limit and you can feel that fury, that's impressive. It should still sound like people playing these songs and these instruments for it to really have any kind of lasting impact. The role of a producer in music is undefined on purpose by definition. And it really, your job is to be whatever the project needs. And if that's a guy that's just there to take the ideas from the band and get it on tape and ship it out to the world, then that's what you do. If it goes beyond that, if you have to step in and help with writing, take a more active role in coaching performances, even managing their lifestyle while during the session, you know, like getting people to bed on time. I mean, it, it, getting people to eat properly, get good rest, not drink and do drugs the night before they have like a lot of work to do. I mean, it, it, it runs a gamut. It's, your job is to do whatever is needed. Essentially, you're being paid by a record label or whoever is releasing this music to ensure a good product. So it's, it's whatever it takes. Being from Denver, being from Colorado, uh, middle of the country, not necessarily a, a central hotbed of music or business or any part of the industry, does present some challenges. And I've, I've tried to kind of make some efforts to do some traveling, get out to NAM, get FaceTime with some, some of the people I work with on you know a weekly basis at some of these record labels, none of which are in Denver. At the same time, I love it here. I mean, I love the climate, I love the mountains, I love the nature, and that's all part of you know keeping my life in balance. Although it may seem that way, I'm not just here in this chair 24 hours a day, seven days a week making music. I have other parts and other hobbies that I want to pursue. A lot of it is outdoor stuff, and this is a good place for that. I like the community. I like the people, I love the environment. I love that within an hour or two drive and you know a five mile hike, I can be very far away from people and civilization if I need to. Can present the challenge, but those all that stuff, any separation you know, by physical space that people have in 2018 and moving forward is just shrinking. You know, I mean the internet has that effect on on every part of society. As long as you're not in a situation where like you're literally, you know, driving an hour to get groceries every week, then there's really no excuse these days. If you're not putting out consistent work that the bands are happy with, the labels are happy with, and the general populace is buying, then, you know, you're not gonna continue to get business. The other part of that, which goes farther than people would think, is being a pleasurable person to deal with on a business front. And that goes from being good at communication, sticking to your deadlines or close to your deadlines, delivering clean files in an organized manner, being accountable when, when things do inevitably happen, there are gonna be mistakes, there are gonna be last minute changes. Particularly as a person starting off in the industry, you need to bend over backwards and leave people with a good impression of your work and your personality and your professionalism.